Welcome to the first segment of the State of District 88 for the 2016-2017 school year. This ongoing program features the news and successes of District 88, which is comprised of Addison Trail and Willowbrook High Schools. We look forward to sharing with you the great accomplishments of your hometown high schools through this program. At District 88, one of our top priorities is to ensure our students, parents, and community members are involved and engaged with our schools. We offer numerous athletic and extracurricular activities for students. We have several groups for our parents, community members, and alumni to connect with Addison Trail and Willowbrook and make a positive difference for our students. During today's segment, we will discuss those opportunities with the building principals as well as members of a few of those groups. With me today are Willowbrook Principal Dan Krause, Willowbrook students Kyla Denwood and Casey King, and Willowbrook parent and also District 45 board member Judy Degna. They're here to share their experience of being part of groups offered at Willowbrook High School. Dan, why don't you kind of give us uh, an overview of the types of groups you, you offer for our students and parents to get involved with. Thanks. We're really proud at Willowbrook High School to offer nearly 60 different clubs and activities for students to be involved in, and also nearly 28 <coughs> different sports and organizations um, throughout Willowbrook High School at multiple levels, so freshman, sophomore, and varsity as well as junior varsity for many of our athletes to compete. But the exciting part is seeing students uh, like Kyla and Casey who are participating in a multitude of those, so they'll share that in just a moment. But knowing that two out of every three of our students are participating in clubs, activities, or sports throughout uh, Willowbrook High School and throughout District 88 really uh, offers an opportunity to be well-rounded students, have connections back to the school and throughout the community. So we're really proud of their work and obviously the support of our parents, you know, parents like Judy who are just about a part of every uh, organization that we have available for parents uh, between herself and, and her husband as well. So it's a, a great partnership we have uh, throughout the Willowbrook community uh, for our students and then also for our parents. And, and it's great, great opportunities, a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. for our students. Um, why don't you share a little bit about the activities you're participating in, Kenna? Um, right now I'm in a lot of musical activities and it's mostly centered around concert bands and that has helped me like go into a lot of other different types of band and orchestras. And I'm also doing speech team right now, so it's fun. Okay, so how many days a week are you at Willowbrook after school? Um, all, all days all. of the week. <laughs> okay. Kyla's also a little humble. She's the drum major for the marching band. So she doesn't just participate, she yeah. leads the entire marching band. So now, yeah, okay, do, so. so leadership on top of participation. <laughs> Casey, how about yourself? What are you involved in over at Willowbrook? Uh, I'm in three sports, so all year I'm there after school. And then uh, I'm really enjoying uh, Blue Crew, New Beginnings, and Mentors, which are New Beginnings and Mentors are kind of like uh, leadership uh, clubs that help with younger classmen, uh, getting them into um, programs and stuff and just helping them, helping them out. If, if I'm watching from home and, and I'd like to get involved, how, how would I go about getting involved in the various clubs and activities at Willowbrook? What would I have to do? As a student? Yeah. Um, well, for our new beginnings, every Friday we have like an activity and um, I think it's like two weeks ago we had uh, our clubs and activities presentation where we told all the freshmen all the different ways to get involved and encouraged them you know, to do so. Okay, so there are probably announcements at school and yeah. signs up uh, indicating meetings, where you need right. to go for meetings and that. Yes. We also have um, fairs like during lunchtime in order to like get like increased participation in okay. different clubs and activities. Awesome, well, thank you, uh, Judy. What are you involved in now? <laughs> uh, well, right now with. Uh, with the Willowbrook, I'm involved mostly in the athletic boosters. Okay. Um, I have been involved in um, the music boosters as well. I had okay. have two students that went through that have graduated, and I have two more coming up. So um, one was heavily involved in music, so I was in with the music boosters and involved with them. And now I, I'm uh, more involved with the athletic boosters. I'm the treasurer there. If I was a parent, you know, in the community, thinking I'd like to get involved, how, how would I do that? Um, Basically, we're always looking for people to come and get involved and, uh, you know, from as little to as much as you'd like to be involved. And we have meetings uh, once a month. They're posted on the website mm -hmm. under the activities area. Um, we just invite everybody to come and, and get involved in, in whatever you'd like to do. 
Now at Willowbrook, we have mm -hmm. the WPO, the mm -hmm. Willowbrook Parent Organization. Right. What, what's their function? Dan? You know, for the Willowbrook Parent Organization, it's a great supportive group uh, for parents that uh, conduct fundraisers throughout the school year and then provide scholarships at the end of the year. So last mm -hmm. year, they were able to offer 25 uh, scholarships to seniors as they left high school, uh, $500 each. Um, so in in addition to the WPO, we have the Citizens Advisory Council that uh, you and I, as well as board members, uh, have as a representative group for the community. We meet once a month. Um, the District, 8, District 88 Foundation, which is another uh, great support component for parents and, and community members to participate in. In addition to uh, our, what we call our What I Need group, our WIN group, uh, which is a organization of parents for students with special needs, provides them an opportunity uh, for resources and presentations. We also have very specific uh, organizations for our parents in partnership with our guidance department. So when our guidance department offers parent programming uh, throughout the school year, they also offer the same program uh, for students that, uh, from families that may be the first in the, college, uh, first in the family to attend college, um, for African American population and also for our, our Hispanic community um, and so that our, all of our programs can be conducted in Spanish as well. So we try our best to make sure that we're serving the multitude of uh, representations of our community. You know, we're proud mm -hmm. that Willowbrook High School has about 40 different languages spoken in the mm -hmm. homes of our school, represents just about every religion, mm -hmm. culture, ethnicity. Uh, there is a cross section, it's a cross section of nearly 2,000 students. So it gives us an opportunity to really offer great programming, not just for our students, but also for our parents. And we really find that when students are involved, they develop networks of you know, peers that really support them in, in your daily life as a student. Do you guys find that? Is that true for you? Is that worked out in that way? Definitely. I know when I always I need something, I always have like a bunch of different friends that I can go to. Especially uh, when teachers, the teachers that help me in my clubs have also like helped me get like ready for college applications. So that's been a big help. Mm -hmm. How do you manage your time? What you guys are doing uh, a lot. How do you manage it's, that? It's definitely difficult, and uh, I mean, you have to accept the fact that you can't make it to everything. Like just this morning, I'd two club meetings and I had to only go to one of them, um, but definitely staying organized is important. Mm -hmm. Judy, back to you for a second. Uh, I know you said you're, you've been involved with music boosters, now athletic boosters. What kind of things do you guys do in those organizations? Well, for the athletic boosters, um, our main source is our concession stands to provide income for us, but we do a lot of spirit wear. Uh, I was just commenting with these guys that Walking the halls of Willowbrook, so many students in spirit wear every day. Uh, so we provide spirit wear. We also provide team support. Um, it's part of our budget. We also provide some, uh, six $1,000 uh, scholarships wow. at the end of the year for seniors that are going mm -hmm. on to college. Um, this year we got involved in homecoming and providing some financial support for the things that needed to be done there. Um, for the music boosters, uh, I know they provide their trip support. Our, our, um, they, on a rotating basis, the different groups go on a trip every year. And um, the boosters provide some support uh, and financial support for that so that it's not so costly for the parents. Um, they also provide scholarships um, to their students uh, for music lessons or to um, you know, purchase a new instrument, uh, things like that. And they just really help out um, with uniform fittings, you know, um, they have like little receptions after the concerts that they, they're helping out with. And I mean, there's just so many ways to get involved as a parent. If you like to get involved as a parent, there's many, many ways to get involved at Wilbrook. You just need to come and say, I want to help. And I mean, they always seem mm -hmm. to welcome you, you know, mm -hmm. to do so. Dan, if, if uh if I'm a parent and I'm looking for meeting times and dates, it's mm -hmm. available on the website. Available right? on the website. Uh, you know, as, as Judy mentioned, it's under the uh, parent resources page and uh, on listed under other parent organizations and, and activities. The nice part is there is a great description of each of them mm -hmm. there as well and really provides, I think, an opportunity for parents to select. And we, we often tell our parents that when students start high school, they'll say, that's okay, you don't have to be there, you know, you don't have to come. That's usually the time when they really want you there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so make sure that you uh, are, are still participating. Um, it's a, it's, a, it's a 
really big school with 2,000 students, but so many opportunities then for parents to stay involved mm -hmm. um, and to be supportive of, of their own individual students and then overall the student body. And it, that's the exciting thing for us is that you know, the great partnership we have with our parents and our community mm -hmm. has allowed for the success of Casey and Kyla and, and, and all the other students at Wilbrook High School. You know, the two of them have been selected to be uh, leaders for what we call the West Suburban Conference uh, Student Leadership Conference that we'll have at the end of October at Lyons Township. So they will actually be the facilitators for, fifth, for 16 different schools that will be in attendance that day and their student representatives. So that's how much of an impact they've had at Willowbrook High School as, as student leaders. And I know Judy Sun was a leader last year. So mm -hmm. it's sort of one of those components that as they start high school, we try to make sure we're building them all the way till their final year so that they transition into the facilitator leader role yeah. that we know they're gonna be successful in. And, and what great, great examples. I mean, not only your seniors, but you're actively engaged in as many things as possible and you're giving back by leading. Can you talk about what this leadership conference is gonna look like at all? Give us a sneak preview or <laughs> any training or thoughts well, and reactions? We, uh, like just last week, we were at AT uh, getting trained to facilitate them. And uh, so it'll basically, will be broken down into classrooms and there'll be an adult in the classroom just kind of to oversee and we'll be the ones running the show and teaching them. Okay. Where's this gonna take place? Um, it's going to be at LT. Lions Township High School? When, mm -hmm. when, when is it gonna take place? Um, in October. Yeah. Okay, well, what are your goals? At the end of the day, when you walk away from that leadership workshop, what, what do you wanna you know, have accomplished? Um, I know we just help uh, others learn how to be leaders in their everyday lives and in their activities and uh, throughout school. How about yourself, Casey? Um, definitely, because I remember last year, after leaving there, I was you know, inspired to be a better leader, so to touch someone in that way would be good. Thanks for giving back. As a parent of a student who participated in the leadership, you, what were the things your son gained from that leadership experience? Um, only positives. I mean, it just made him uh, want to be stronger, a uh, stronger person, um, lead uh, more in a more positive way on the on the court on the field in the sports that he participated in and in the activities he's participated in I just feel like it's a it's a just a great opportunity for them you know and, and it will stick with them as they go on to college now, Mr. Kraus also if, if I'm a parent or a student at mm -hmm. home and and I um, search on a website you also have all the different activities mm -hmm. and uh, things available for me on the website, correct? We do. We have all the clubs and activities listed, including who the sponsors are, so students or parents can reach directly out to the sponsor um, via email, or, or they can contact us directly. And the, the, the nice part, too, is that many times there's clubs or activities that we haven't thought of, and yes. students will sometimes think about, um, well, we'd like to start an organization. So they'll meet with our assistant principal, they'll talk through their concept, they'll talk about whether they have enough students that are actually interested in that, and then we'll consider that you know, for, for transition to be another club or activity that is offered at Willowbrook High School. And some of our you know, best organizations have begun that way because of student-based interest and leadership. Um, and, and that's the power, I think, of the partnership that we've mm -hmm. created with the students as they feel comfortable enough to, to come forward and say, this is something I think would be great for us. And it's a similar piece with the, with the parent organizations because the, um, the What I Need group, the Special Ed Parent Advisory, as well as the Theater Booster, Theater and Speech Booster group, both emerged in that same, yeah. same fashion. That's so. awesome. Well, both you guys are seniors, and I'm going to let you out of here without putting you on the spot. <laughs> what the most memorable experience when you think of activities and great things that have happened at Willowbrook over your four years? Which one of your most memorable experiences? Um, I would say my first marching band show. Just yes. sit, like playing in front of that big crowd, it was amazing. Friday night lights and out there marching. Yeah. Casey, how about uh, you? I would have to say it was my sophomore year uh, track conference championships and our four by eight relay won the whole thing and that was really exciting. Incredible, awesome. congratulations. Yeah. Judy, as a parent, your most memorable experience so far? You've had a few kids go through Willowbrook? <laughs> uh, there's been quite a, a, a few. Um, I know it was fun watching the basketball team a couple years ago that won the conference mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, just watching them play was so exciting. Yeah. That was one of, the, one of the good things I remember. 
Well, thank you all for being here today. Um, thank you all for joining us as we, and we look forward to continuing our focus on providing ways in which stakeholders can make an impact on our schools. Stay tuned and we'll be right back to share opportunities offered at Addison Trail. How do you feel about your commute these days? A little crabby? You can change that pretty easily. Just take pace and feel happy as a clam. The savings will be a big change too. Travel in a more relaxing pace. A picture-perfect lawn may look harmless, but its effects can be a real horror show. Rain washes fertilizer, bug and weed killers off your lawn, down dishes and drains, and into our rivers, where they can be toxic to wildlife and pollute our water. So cut back on lawn chemicals, mow higher, leave the clippings, and enjoy a beautiful, healthy, safer lawn. Welcome back. Joining me now are Addison Trail Principal, Michael Bolden, Addison Trail Seniors, Andrew Felix and Amber Rivera, and a Addison Trail Parent, Ms. Lisa Mackey. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, you're welcome. Today we're talking about student activities in parent participation in parent organizations. Um, Mr. Bolden, you want to just kind of take us through what you have to offer our parents and our students at Addison Trail? Well, first of all, our, our students being involved as well as our parents being involved is a critical part to our success at Addison Trail, both as a school and as a community, but also the success for the parents and the students in their future. Uh, many people sometimes underestimate the importance of being involved in athletics and extracurriculars, um, but we really feel it's the extension of the classroom. Uh, those clubs and sports really teach our students how to manage their time, stay organized, develop new friendships, problem solve, all the skills that we want our students to have after they leave high school and go into college in the world of work. Um, and so it really is an extension. And so we're excited to offer over 60 different clubs. Um, we're always looking at our students to, to come up with new ideas of what they can do, what are they interested in, so that they can participate in something that they're connected to uh, and get together with friends and make new friends. Um, our, our athletics, 27, 28 sports, I believe that we offer um, our students is another great opportunity for them to get involved. And our sports are not all cut sports, so there's opportunities for our students to go in every season and participate in a high school uh, athletic team and be a part of that team and don't have to worry about tryouts and cuts. And so that opportunity is really important for us and, and to have um, almost two thirds, 67% of our students from our last study uh, are involved in clubs or activities is a great uh, example of our students' desire to do well, um, participation in school, and that translates into all the academic success that we've had because students are, who are engaged in school um, in, in extracurricular activities and sports really enjoy school, they have better attendance, better grades, and really it becomes a lot more fun as you'll hear from them in just a short while. Great, thank you. Amber, what kind of clubs and activities, have, you know, even all four years of high school, what have you been involved with throughout your four years? Um, I run track and now I'm varsity and I, I'm in SIO, I'm in um, SIO ambassador. Science Olympia? Yeah. What yeah, particular yeah. event? Um, this year, chemistry and forensic science, and I'm thinking of one more, I'm not sure which one's okay. the last one. And um, I'm a Blazer ambassador, I'm in psych club, and I think that's most of my camera. What do you do in psychology club? Psych club, it's different. Every week there's um, a, like a new topic, okay. and it's, um, there's like things you can get involved. There's volunteering opportunities too at um, you know organizations like Feed My Starving Children and stuff like that. And it's it's really interesting. It's always like learning a bunch of new things about the brain, and it's really cool. Well, thank you, Andrew. How about yourself? What are you in? Uh, my biggest thing is probably varsity football. I've been playing that uh, all four years of high school. Also, I'm a part of student council, key club, and another big event that happens once a year is Pay It Forward. I'm a core member. Um, a few other things, but those are the biggest ones. The uh, yeah. what, what are the other things? Um, probably Blazer Ambassadors as well, uh, Psychology Club, National Honor Society, 
student, principal student advisory team with Mr. Bolden. Um, I'm pretty sure that, that's all. Now, what, what kind of uh, service have you participated in for NHS? I know National Honor Society, okay. there are service requirements. What kind of things have you guys participated in? Uh, so far, we do a lot of things with the elementary schools in our districts through AS, or Edison School District 4. So we have things at Ardmore, like the school dances. Over at Army Trail, there's babysitting all the time. Um, over at Stone School, any big events that they have with the parents or with the kids they bring in, uh, mm -hmm. NHS usually helps facilitate helpers for those nights. So those are like the bigger things throughout the year we help with. How about you, any community service for you, Amber? Yeah, there's, um, for NHS, there's um, the stuff on the board, which is mostly the stuff that Andrew was saying, like um, you know, for the elementaries nearby or even Indian Trail. And then there's also stuff you can do outside of the board, and that's like um, your own ideas, kind of, and you can do things like Feed My Starving Children or other um, outer groups, kind of, like okay. community gardens and stuff like that. Or, so there's kind of a service board for you to be able to take yeah. advantage of opportunities yes. in the community. Yeah. Great. Mrs. Mackey, uh, thanks for joining us today. Thank How you. about your participation and what parent groups are you involved in? Well, I attend the CAC meetings and the TPO meetings, the athletic booster meetings, and the music booster meetings, and occasionally theater booster meetings. <laughs> so you've got a full schedule. Yeah, the, the nice thing is that you don't have to... You don't have to feel like you're pressured that you have to attend every single meeting. Um, it's otherwise, I tried that once and it was just very crazy. But the ones you can attend, it's just nice to get to know what's going on in the school, what's going on in the CAC meetings. You find out at a more global level what's happening at the district level than at the school level. And at the, at the uh, TPO meetings, we find out more what's going on at the school level and we help raise funds for the scholarships we do for seniors but in addition we also help pay for the prom buses and we help with the close-up give some scholarships to the close-up winners and that's the feel, that's the experience where you guys fund students to go to Washington DC and correct in a ground floor perspective of politics and government in action yes and speaking from experience because I went on that when I was at Addison Trail okay it's a very it's a very wonderful experience there to Excellent. do that how did you get involved as a parent? What, what, what got you started and how did you, you know, connect? Well, the first, when, as a freshman parent, they had these meetings where they talked about Addison Trail and about the school itself. And then they had different members from the booster clubs come up and talk and explain what, what the booster clubs were about. And for me, I feel that it's important for my children and for, that if I can help out, that I can provide opportunities that mm -hmm. They, they might not have if we didn't have parent volunteers. For example, for the music boosters, we have this coming Tuesday, we have, we host the ILMEA, the Illinois Music Educators Association District Competition, where we have 2,500 students from all the high school, from surrounding area high schools compete for district competition. And we need volunteers to help sell concessions, and the, that's our biggest fundraiser. And we use that to help fund scholarships, to help for example, the music department's going on a trip to New Orleans this spring, so we're hopefully if we've raised enough funds, we can help provide some of the meals for that on the buses. So it's providing opportunities that our children wouldn't necessarily have if, if, no one was, if parents weren't involved. Thanks for your leadership and thanks for giving back. That's incredible. Thank you. Mr. Bolden, what other kinds of uh, parent organizations are available at Addison Trail? Great. As Mrs. Mackey talked about, uh, we also have uh, our Latino parent group, our uh, Los Padres uh, in Acción, which is a group of uh, Latino parents who come together and we have a variety of different topics each month and it provides them a connection um, in their native language um, to understand what's going on in the school and what opportunities we have in the community. Um, just uh, last week we had our first one of the year and uh, provided opportunities we brought in, talked about the school and the kickoff and how things were going, but also provided the, uh, the Addison Library and all the resources that the Addison Library provides the residents of Addison, just trying to connect all of those different uh, support groups and agencies within Addison so that all of our students um, and our parents are aware of the resources. In addition, we also have a special education parent advisory. So any parents that have a student who's receiving special services, has an IEP or 504 plan, has the opportunity to go ahead and meet with um, our staff to talk about any special needs, um, ideas they have, concerns they might have to support all of our students. That's our goal, is to support all of our students 
uh, and all of our parents. So no, ma no matter uh, what you're involved in at Addison Trail, whether you're um, taking our highest level AP courses, um, you're taking core courses, you're involved in athletics, or you're involved in clubs and activities, we really want, we want to have all of, our, all of our students and families engaged in what Addison Trail has to offer um, for a full, full experience at a comprehensive high school. And I know also on the district level, uh, District 88 has a foundation that's connected to the partnership for inspired, uh, of inspired, uh, the partnership for inspired education. Uh, it's called the Pi Committee, and it's a it's a combination of four school districts: District 4, 45, 48, and 88, all joined together with Pi for a 501c3 with his, his charitable organization status. But they run a number of fundraisers and they give back to the schools uh, through scholarships and grants so teachers can do some things that enhance what they're doing in the classroom for our students. So it's very exciting. And I think, you know, that is District 88, you know, a combination of parents working with students and, you know, working for students and supporting students and students just stretching and going above and beyond to, to do some great things. And, you know, it's interesting when we think about it and when we look at the research that students who are involved do better than students who aren't involved. And maybe you guys can give us some insight in that. Uh, your thoughts on why, why, why do you feel that's you know, the result? Um, I'm not sure. It is really hard to balance everything, but I feel like if you put in the effort to be involved, it, it tells a lot about like your um, you know, endeavors and everything, and it shows that you're like, you, you're there because you want to be, not because you have to be. And then it, those kids are the same ones that like are doing, like you know, are studying more and are uh, doing their homework because they want to be, you know. Mm -hmm. And it just, it's more of a character thing, I'd say, that if you're willing to participate in everything and be involved, it shows that you, you're there because, um, you know, it's right for your future and you can see that. Other kids that don't really get involved, I don't think they, you know, understand and they try to be out there more. How about you, Andy? And I would say um, it helps um, uh, immensely with organizational skills. Um, once you have clubs that you also have to do after school or sports you have to do after school, then you realize that, well, before I go do that, I have to get everything taken care of in the classroom. So I have to make sure I have my homework done, make sure I have to study for this test. But I also have to go to practice, so it helps you make sure, like you time out your night, you have practice, say, 3 to 6, and then you're going to do homework 6.30 to 7. And it just helps um, with everything by letting you really uh, realize that you have a lot to do, but you can do it just making sure you have, you have it written down or you have it somewhere so you know this is what I have to do. If I get it done, then I should be fine. Incredible. So time management. Um, <laughs> organization. Lisa, I've got to ask you, with all your participation, how do you manage that? Advice for parents watching. <laughs> on how, I mean, I know our meetings are on the calendar, but you probably have to have some strategy to keep all this together. Huh? I'm very blessed to have my husband who's a, who partners with me on this. And okay. he does something. We've got two children, one's still in District 4, one's in District 88. And we're just splitting up things. And sometimes we can make things, and sometimes we can't. It's, mm -hmm. But that's OK. The important thing is that when we do attend, we we, we know what's going on, and it gives us the opportunity to meet the administrators and find out what's going on in the school because, unfortunately, no offense, children don't always bring everything home. <laughs> and we don't find out things. For example, finding out like, like the medical careers program. Yeah. I found that out about that out at a TPO meeting, mm -hmm. and my daughter's doing it this year. So it's, it's finding out things that you wouldn't necessarily find out as a parent unless mm -hmm. you were attending these meetings yes. of the opportunities your children have. Yeah. And I think your message too between your husband and you splitting that, those tasks up is we don't take attendance at meetings and anybody is welcome. You're more than invited, show up, engage, is, you know, it's on you as much as you want or as little as you want. You're, you're more than welcome to be at Addison Trail and engage in parent organizations. You can find that on our website also. Oh, so. definitely. In fact, last year in the Music Boosters meetings, we had some grandparents awesome. attend. Awesome. So that was kind of nice to have them participate so they could find out what's going on with their grandchildren and help with the school in the process. Excellent. Well, Mr. Bolden, Amber, Andrew, Ms. Mackey, thanks for being with us today. We really appreciate your input and insight in participation in student and parent organizations at Addison Trail High School. 
Thank you for joining us, and be sure to tune in again during our next segment of the State of 88, which will air right here on ACTV. To stay up to date with all the great things happening in District 88, visit our website at www.dupage88.net, where you can sign up for our electronic newsletter and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.